G'day Peanut Scrappers, Metis here. We're back in Scrap Mechanic as always, playing this amazing game. Now, last episode we talked a little bit about the Steam Workshop. There has been an update and it's freaking awesome. So, um, that was between episodes. I'm a little bit behind on my schedule, so I'm catching up now. I'm so sorry. So now you can opt in for the beta testing for the Steam Workshop, and I highly recommend that you do that. Um, it's quite simple. I'm going to throw up some screenshots right now. You go to your Steam page, and you click on your Scrap Mechanic game, and then you click on Properties, right? And then you go into um, the the Betas tab, and you click the drop-down menu, and you, pro you will automatically be opted out of Betas. In that drop-down menu, there is an option for the workshop tool you hit okay you let it do its thing it's going to download some stuff and then you jump in your world right and we're going to start off by sharing the bumper car now this is not my design this is a bumper car um i'll get the correct name for the bloke i'm sorry i get a lot of names here um i'll definitely call it that when i go to the steam workshop but um, we're going to share this bumper car with everybody else actually you know what we could do well, we'll do the bumper car first and then we'll share another one so we press e so if you've got if you've got the beta in there, it should be good. You can chuck down any creation you want on the um on the elevator. You press C, it says press E to use. Boom! We get this save blueprint. This is so good. And it makes me so excited. So we're gonna call this one bumper car. Right, we save it. Boom. And now we're automatic this is this is our own saved, okay? So now we can just go like this. Right, we can do that and then we can build it. Boom! Oh man, I wish I'd had this the other day. It'd be so much better. So now we've got all these. We can make multiple bumper cars. But anyway, we're going back into here. This is what we want to work on. Okay, so this is share, right? And it will upload this to the Steam Workshop, where you, the person I am talking to right now, can download this bumper car and put it in your own world. You can play it for yourself. And um, I can't. You, you can't see this right now. So um, it'll come up in the Steam Workshop. I need to get back out of Steam because obviously I'm recording in the game alone. And then you can upload it. Um, I'm going to call this one Bumper Car. Yeah, I'm just going to call it Bumper Car. And you can see um, I'll change my name on Steam so that everybody knows it's by me because currently my name is not um, not Menace. It's something else. And then, um, yeah, so description. We, we could probably edit the description. Um, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to find out the name of this block. Okay, his name was That Ridiculous Ray K. A bumper. All right, we're gonna we're gonna edit this. We're doing this together. A bumper car design by that ridic ridiculous. I didn't say that word. Don't giggle. I know you're sitting there giggling. Ridiculous Ray K for Peanut Land 2.0. All right, all right. I'm gonna do a little bit more. A great compact design utilizing don't i it's s in my country okay utilizing has an s not a z um utilizing the suspension glitch glitch for turning i reckon i highly recommend we're going to change that i highly recommend trying it out so um yeah let's share that again i think that i i'll just go into um into Steam and delete the old one. Have I have I done it again? All right, let me see. Workshop items. I'm just I'm looking in Steam right now. I apologize. Let's try again. I'm going to share it once more. Now you can all find me. I'm going to be menace and I'm going to have a picture of my M logo. So you can all go on to Steam Workshop and find this and you can use it for yourself. I got the bumper car. It's got all the information. Great stuff. So now. We're, this is an old version of Peanut Land. I want to share some of the other things in here with you guys. So this will actually, um, what I'm going to do very skillfully is is drop this and make this an entire entity on its own. Actually, what can we do? Yeah, I think I can, I can probably delete the floor. So we'll just delete this to start with. Um, that's the wrong thing. Cool. And then if I... Go like this. Cool, we're on. We're on, guys. We can put this over here, right? And this. Ooh, that <laughs> didn't work as intended. Wow, that's weird. That is super odd. Uh, okay. You. That is very, very strange. Uh. 
Maybe it's because... Wow, I just don't understand why that's happening. I would have thought I would have grabbed it from here. Maybe if we, we build this out a bit more. And then, then we can upload it to, to Peanut Land. The... Let's try this. <laughs> why are you being so weird? Alright, I don't understand why, but it's okay. We'll delete all this and we'll upload it regardless. So, if you are going to use this in your world, just be wary that it's all sorts of messed up, eh? All right, and then what you can do is you can use the weld tool to put it on the ground. So we're going to chuck this in here. We're going to put this up like that. Um, we're going to save it as the rocket ride. Rocket ride. We will save it this blueprint's description. Okay, so for some reason, this ride um, be glitches out on the lift. But once... You place it. It will snap huh, back together. Okay, so jump in the driver's seat and use the thrusters to operate. Cool, and then we can save that. We're going to share it with you lovely people. So you can download that one too. We'll do one more and then it's going to be it because, uh, yeah, I just I just want a really super quick episode today just to share this awesome stuff with you. I might even um, go into the, uh, what's it called? I'll go into the workshop and I might actually pull out a few few things of, uh, of our own. What I will do though is uh, delete that, right? Let's see if I can... Is that no? It's not going to work. So what I will do is I might just what we'll do is we'll delete this out, right? We'll chuck this over here for us to. It's done the same thing. That is so bizarre, so bizarre. We'll upload it, and all I'll have to do is um yeah I don't know. We're going to call this one. What did I call this one? I don't remember. It's a, it's just like a second rocket ride. <laughs> rocket ride ride 2 um, this one glitches out on on the lift which is okay once placed it will snap back together all you need to do is hook up a driver's seat to the thrusters thrusters at the top and we're done so we could save that sweet and we're going to share it again cool and i'm probably going to share a lot of different things um today so that everybody can download them and play them in their world um i'm going to have a quick look and see if I, what i can find on the steam workshop oh it's just popped up and now i'm all glitching out okay so i've downloaded a few things um we're going to build this this is let me see this is by does it actually say who it's from by here it is. This is by Tacabon. He says forklift. Just um, put it in your world. Opening the lift menu. Yes, I know how to do that. Cool. Have fun. I will have fun. Give me a second. Let's check this thing out. All right. He's got a little bit of a, a bonnet at the back. We can lift up the forks like so. And it has a horn. Let's take it for a drive. I have my forklift license. I drive a forklift that works sometimes, just so as you know. So this is a... I'll be a good judge of character. Or judge of, of design. And this works pretty well, man. I really like it. Cool. So let's check out another one. Let me out of here. Put lift down. I have got this. Trolled coaxial rotors. Created by Dr. Navi. All right. Two reasons this helicopter is more realistic than others. All the thrusters are constantly on. None of the adjustable bearings connected, blah, blah, blah. That means instructions. Nine turned on the rotors. Any lag should disappear now. All right, then. We're going to build it. Oh, it's rather large. Uh, I don't seem to get any lag. That's probably good news. I'm also in the wrong seat. Uh, all right. I'm also need to get off the lift. It's probably going to lag out now. Oh, boy. So press 9. Holy crap.
Alright, it seems to be not working so well for me. <laughs> we'll chuck it back on the on the lift. That's a pretty cool design. I don't know why it doesn't work so great for me. Maybe it's just like the angle of the dangle when it dropped down. Um, let's see if we can get this to fly again. What are all these... Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Five and six are probably the ones to turn things around. Wow, this is some full-on stuff. Doesn't want to fly in my world. Okay, we're going to turn that off, but that's cool. So the workshop tool is, is going pretty well. I highly recommend you check it out. I'm going to upload a few different things from um, Peanut Lands and, and some other designs. If you want anything you specifically know of mine that you want me to upload, let me know. Um, I'm probably going to just cruise over here. What else have I got in this world that I can share? I don't want to share things that aren't mine, except for the Dodging Cars. I shared those because they're awesome. That's going to be it, though, for this episode, guys. Um, I know it's super short and sweet. But I want to thank you for watching. If you have some Steam Workshop stuff, let me know. You can email me like a link to it, and then you can send it. That way it'd be so much easier for me to put stuff in the world. But anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Menace. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Make sure you check out the rest of my channel and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Thanks for watching.